Actually, we're going to see how Boston Red Sox. Oh, yeah, fancy. Are you really? Uh, I'm good. I'm having a great time. You know, did you now? Did you ever envision you're sitting up with this us two bozos in lies? And it's, it's raining, it's cold, and had luck. Yeah. And you end up with Fenway before the end of the year. I mean, what a ride, huh? Hey, you know what? It's crazy that, like, that you just put that all together. I didn't even really think about that. You know, I remember that day, us being up there. You know, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a great year. You know, and, uh, had a lot of fun, you know, this past year, like, you know, getting called up is uh, the ultimate dream. And, like, you know, there's no, uh, it's priceless memories, really. There's no way to be that. The baseball career is all getting called up at the ultimate level, so. But, we got a lot more I want to do, so. There's a lot of games, a lot of things. Were you glad you didn't run into Adrian Beltre last year? We were very concerned up here that you two would collide when you were playing in left field. We, re we really thought it was going to be the end of the world, you two. Had, had no, you know, uh, I was never concerned about it because, you know, I, you know, I know that all that was just a, a big, you know, mistake, really. I mean, Adrian plays hard, LZ plays hard, Lita plays hard, and it's a very crazy coincidence that it all happened in the same, uh, in that same little period, so, but, you know, I would have, uh, I don't know, me and Adrian Going to collide would have been too good for anybody. There'd, there'd been a crater. We, we, we predicted so there'd been, a, there'd been a crater. They would have been rebuilding the wall in Fenway if that had happened. About two seconds before, you would have remembered how to be a linebacker and you'd have taken his head off, I think. Uh, talk about a little bit about, uh, about the first time you stepped on, on the field at Fenway in that uniform. What, what it was like after you know going through the process pretty rapidly. And everyone, you know, talked about you would probably get there but didn't expect it so soon. But that first step on the field. Wow. I mean, that whole day was such a wild ride. It was it all happened so fast. Um, I would say, I, you know, I kind of tried to really slow the game down on Mark's day. But still, like, coming in that dugout with all those, you know, players that are all you know, stars, Boston Red Sox, all the guys in there, just being around them. And then as soon as, you know, your name is called, you're running out of Fenway Park. And Fenway Park is cathedral. It's unbelievable. So the feeling was, you know, I can't even really describe it. It was just it was surreal. And you know, run out to your office and you try and treat it like it's just any, you know, the game. It's, 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 you know, it's on a different stage in Fenway Park. It's a, it's a special time. Now, Arnie's been promoted to Pawtucket. Yeah. If you have to spend any time at Pawtucket this year, are you looking forward to that? Or are you like, oh, God, not Arnie again? <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely looking forward to it. Arnie is, uh, you know, up there in my book. It's one of the, you know, guys I've been around in baseball. There's been a whole bunch of good ones. We've a lot of time. We've spent a lot of time here together. So our relationship is really grown. And, you know, I will not be disappointed because I know if I go to Triple A, he'll help me get better and uh, do that together. Hopefully, to, you know, at some point, help the Red Sox win. Now, what part of your game do you think you have to work on next? You, you know, you got a taste, and now you're going to, you know, I think everyone's idea is you're going to go to Pawtucket so you can work every single day, get in the at bats, get the work in. What do you see that you need to do? Um, I mean, there's a whole bunch I need to do, really. I mean, it's just an overall, right now, you know, like, kind of, uh, baseball's a game of adjustments, you know, mentally, physically. You know, I think at this point in my career, and a lot of my, you know, you know, teammates' careers is the mental side. You know, you know trying to keep the lows, low, or lows high and the highs low, and keep everything very even, because this game can really get, get your mind. And that's something to be said, you know, for how much of a tough game it is to make it, because the best of the best have it up here, as well as the tools they have physically. So that's, you know, you know the, the physical side is adjustments every day. I mean, if you start to feel something with your swing, it's kind of an ongoing thing. So, you know, the mental side is something that, if you can master it, it can be such a good tool. So that's probably the most that I'm going to do. You played three outfield positions last year in the major leagues. What type of adjustment is that? One day you're playing in left, one day you're playing center, one day you're playing in right, especially at that level. Yeah, I mean, it can be challenging, but, you know, that's uh, part of the reason why, you know, I got a chance, I think, because I'll play in all three, and I'm going to give it my all, and 
you know, it depends. I mean, obviously in Fenway, it's a totally different ballgame playing left and right and even center. But, uh, you know, I've had a lot of uh, I've had a lot of practice, and it's, you know, just a very good thing for the organization that they gave me all that work in every position throughout my career so I could have a better time when I got up there. And, uh, you know, there's all, still a whole bunch of adjustments in the outfield, like, just like hitting. So it's just an uh, ongoing thing. Now, a guy like you, who you were tight with Casey and you were tight with Rizzo, yeah. how tough is it to see a couple of those talented guys leave, even though you're getting a big bat in return, but, you know, you, you have a personal relationship with those two guys. Yeah, well, I mean, let's, let's be honest. Getting Adrian is such a huge thing for our team. I mean, he's a very elite first baseman. He's proven. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm saddened by them leaving, but also as their friend, I know what kind of opportunities we're going into with San Diego. With San Diego. They, first of all, they have guys that we had in our organization, guys that drafted all of us. And, you know, Jason McLeod, Jen Hunter, those guys are, you know, you know, definitely looking forward to getting them. So as, as sad as I am, I'm very excited for them. Because they're going to have a great opportunity over there. And I'm sure, you know, friends are friends. You know, I'm, I'm really close to them, and we're going to stay in touch. You never know. Baseball. Well, I mean, you can go out there and visit them, which is nice. It's yeah. not a bad place to go visit, you know. No, it's not a bad place. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely, you know, obviously, I don't think I'll have time because we kind of have the same schedule. But, yeah. but if I could, I would. I definitely would. The Sox Pirates World Series in a couple years wouldn't be too bad. No, that would be a good. That'd time. be fun. That'd be a fun time. That'd be fun. All right, Ryan Kios, thank you very much. I appreciate it.